Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to solve inequalities when there's a variable on both sides of, of the inequality sign. So we're going to do a couple problems together, so take notes with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then in, at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so let's take a look at this first problem. We have 4 times a number is less than 10 plus 2 times that same number, right? So notice we have an n on both sides of the inequality. So this might be a little bit different than what you've done before. But the process is actually pretty easy to solve this. So our goal is we need to try to get this one variable by itself. So I'm going to actually take away 2n from both sides. That's the move. Because all I'm doing is I'm just adding a negative 2n to both sides. Because when I do that, notice how these cancel out. And that's the point of that move is to eliminate one of the variables. But now we have... 4n minus 2n, which is 2n, is less than 10. And now I can just solve a plain old inequality. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And then the 2's cancel out. And n is going to be less than 5. All right, so again, let's backtrack for a second. So what I did again is I subtracted 2n from both sides. And that set up the problem so I could then solve for n. All right, this one over here is, is kind of the same type of problem where we have negative 5 times n plus 21 is greater than or equal to 2n. So notice we have an n on this side and also an n on this side. But I'm going to add 5n to both sides. And when I do that, these cancel out, right? And now we have 21 is greater than or equal to 7n. And now we're going to solve for n. So divide both sides by 7. And n is going to be less than or equal to three and there's the answer all right so now that you understand how to solve inequalities when there's a variable on both sides why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems and when you're done hit play you can see how you did all right good luck all right welcome back let's see how you do with these practice problems so one thing i forgot to mention in the first part of the video is anytime you have a variable on both sides, you have a choice to make. Like for example, for this first one, I could take away 6n from both sides, or I could take away 3n from both sides. And what you want to do is you, you want to look at the problem and say, what, what, what really makes sense? What, what's the easiest? But what, what I normally do 9 times out of 10 is I'll remove the variable that, that's attached to the, the constant. So here we have 18 plus 3n. So I'm going to take away 3n from both sides. And now we have 3n is greater than 18. And then finally, when I divide both sides by 3, the 3's cancel out, and n is going to be greater than 6. And there's our first answer. All right? So over here, I'm going to go by the same premise. I'm going to add 11n to both sides. And when I do that, I have 35 left on the left-hand side, which is greater than or equal to well, negative 4 plus 11 is 7n, and then divide both sides by 7, and n is going to be less than or equal to 5, and there's the answer. All right, how'd you do?